Hi everyone. Today we're going to take a look at momentum and impulse and two-dimensional collisions. So to get started, um, you'll see I started us off here with a sketch of the initial situation and the final situation. So let's take a look at what's going on here. Um, if you can imagine you have a pickup truck and it's moving east and you have a car moving north. Okay, so I've set up my axes with a y-axis and an x-axis. I made for the x-direction the positive direction to be east and the negative direction to be west. The southern direction in the y to be negative and north to be positive. So I'm going to take um, the mass of the pickup truck here. So let's say we know that the mass of the pickup truck is 1,600 kilograms. And we know that V initial for the pickup truck is positive 20 meters per second, otherwise known as 20 meters per second to the right. And let's say we know that the mass of the car, it's a little bit lighter, it's 1,300 kilograms, and that our V initial for the car is positive 16 meters per second. So let's imagine that unfortunately these two vehicles um, engage in a collision and they remain tangled together after that collision. And we're going to determine the velocity, um, which would include the magnitude and the direction, of this combined wreck immediately after the collision. So we're actually looking for, in our final situation, this V final vector that you see right over here. So when we think about momentum in two dimensions, um, we know that momentum is a conserved quantity. And we can break down momentum at an angle into its x components and its y components. So we've been working with momentum in one dimension, and we know it's a conserved quantity. And when we think about momentum in two dimensions, it's also a conserved quantity. So basically, we can say that the momentum in the x is all conserved, and the momentum in the y direction is conserved. So what we're going to be looking for here is we want to know what the x component of this v final vector will be. Okay, and we can represent the x component as v final times cosine theta. Theta being this angle right here between the angle of the velocity and the x-axis. Okay, we can also, or we're also interested in knowing what the y component of this v final is. And the y component of v final will be, and maybe I should write, y component of v final is equal to v final times the sine of theta. So we don't know theta, and we also don't know v final. And that's really what we're going to try to do here. And our strategy is to break down everything that we know in terms of an x analysis and a y analysis. So I'm going to start over here with an x analysis. So let me keep everything I'm doing in the x here in orange. I'm looking to do an x analysis. So to start out, I'm going to do a momentum impulse bar chart for the system of both the car and the pickup. So in order to do that, I'm going to set up my zero line. I'm going to have the momentum of object one, Let's say object one is the car initial, again this is only in the x, plus momentum of object two, this will be the pickup initial, again only in the x, plus any impulse exerted on the system will equal momentum of the car, final in the x, plus momentum of the pickup, 
final in the X. And I'm just going to extend my bar chart over here. So when I take a look at the car, the car has a velocity of 16 meters per second, but that vector is completely in the Y direction. So the car itself has no X component of velocity, so therefore it has no X component of momentum. The pickup truck is a different story in the X direction because the pickup truck has 20 meters per second and that's all in the Y. So in order to find the momentum, I'm going to take the mass of the pickup truck, which is given as 1600, and multiply that by our 20 meter per second velocity. And that means that I have momentum here and it represents um, 32,000. That's kg times meter per second. My system is both the car, um, the car, I'm sorry, and the pickup. So when I ask myself, is there any impulse, I'm really asking myself, is there any object external to this system that's exerting a net force on either of these system objects? So assuming that friction here is negligible, then there's no impulse in the x direction. Okay, when I take a look at the final momentum of both of these objects, because I know that they stick together and they have this velocity at an angle, I know that both of them will then have an x component to their velocity. So I know that each of these should have a bar. The bars are not equal, even though their v finals are equal, because the mass of the pickup truck is larger. So I know that the total momentum can be seen when you look at the initial momentum of the pickup truck. And now I need to split that bar up with these two objects. And I really don't know how much they are yet, so I'm going to leave a question mark there. But what I do know is that I now have an equation that I can use in the x direction. And this equation is momentum of the pickup truck initial in the x equals momentum of the car final in the x plus momentum of the pickup truck final in the x. Okay, so I've done my x analysis. I have this x equation that I'm going to come back to. And now I want to analyze what's going on in the y direction. So I'm going to analyze the same system. Let me change out the colors here. And I'm going to do a y analysis for the same system. So again, the system I'd like to analyze is both the car and the pickup. So I'm going to have momentum of the car initial in the Y plus momentum of the pickup initial in the Y plus any impulse equals momentum of the car final in the Y plus momentum of the pickup final in the Y. Okay, so again, this is only a Y analysis. When I look at the car, I notice that all of its velocity is in the y direction and that velocity is 16 and the mass of that car is 1300. So I do have an initial velocity here and it's 20,800 kilogram times meter per second. When I look at the pickup truck I notice that all of the velocity is in the x. There's zero component in the y so there's zero here. No external objects interact with my system. In the final direction, because the final velocity is at an angle, there will be a y component for each of these objects because the mass of this car is so much less than the mass of the pickup truck bar for the pickup truck is a bit larger, but again, I'm not really sure how big I can make those just yet. I do know, though, that I get a pretty good equation out of this, and I'm going to write that equation down here. Momentum of the car, initial in the y, 
equals momentum of the car final in the y plus momentum of the car I'm sorry of the pickup final in the y so now I have these two equations and we're going to come back to those in part two of this analysis.